Introducing IRIS, the newest software offering for laboratory automation from PAC. IRIS is the first system designed and developed by PAC to unify our brands by allowing one system to function across all PAC brands, including ISL, Herzog, Alcor, Antec, and AC Analytical Controls. We have reduced both the overall cost and space requirements associated with multiple systems and reduced the deployment and training time due to our common user interface, meaning that all instruments, regardless of function, will have a consistent look and feel for operators, allowing technicians to move from one instrument to another efficiently within the IRIS environment. Our goal is to give our customers a reliable and efficient way to filter sample data, print reports, store information, develop methods, control their instrumentation, and transmit to their LIM system. In this demonstration video, we will take a look at a number of instrument plugins to demonstrate basic IRIS functionality. While all user interfaces in IRIS are designed to be common and consistent throughout our product lines, some instrument models are inherently more complex. These instruments, while they contain all the basic IRIS features, will have additional controls built in for multiple methods, run control, and calibration. We will cover these additional features in detail in later videos. For this demonstration, we will focus on the basic IRIS user interface. IRIS is a modular system. This allows our customers to purchase only the module licenses referred to as plugins they desire. The system is packaged in two parts, the workbench, which is the technician or operator's interface, and the online manager, which is designed as a management reporting tool. The instrument interfaces with the workbench through serial, USB, and Ethernet communication protocols that already exist in our product lines. To begin, we'll launch our IRIS workbench utility and authenticate with our username and password. These are typically set by lab management and can restrict each user to particular tasks, essentially giving our customers an extra layer of security for methods and data. Once our authenticated user is into the system, we will elect to view all instruments on our network and select the plugin we wish to work with. In this example, we're going to choose a PMD110, or Portable Micro Distillation Unit from ISL. Upon startup of the plugin, our user will immediately notice a set of status indicators and tab pages available at the top of our window. These items are present in all IRIS plugins and their functionality is consistent throughout the different modules. These will include run control, results, reports, QC history, and online manager. Run control displays our real-time data. The data displayed here will change depending on the instrument type and may report temperature at different locations depending on the application. For instance, a freeze point analyzer may display both temperature at the sample temperature probe and at the jacket itself, while this PMB will report temperature at vapor temperature probe only. This window will also display relevant user and sample data, such as who is running the test, the sample name, the current date and time, the product or method being used. Once a sample is recorded by IRIS, it will be available to our user through the results tab. By default, IRIS places the last recorded result at the top of the list on the left-hand side. All previously recorded results will appear in chronological order. IRIS breaks apart sample result information so that it's easy for the user to find. In this case, we'll notice that it breaks apart in the top window our sample information as well as our product information. The right-hand side contains our distillation points. The bottom will contain graphs for temperature curve as well as our primary data for pressure and temperature over the course of the distillation. And in this case, in the bottom right-hand section of the window contains our residue recovery, atmospheric conditions, as well as our start and end date and time. If the user wishes to see an additional result, they can double-click the result to open a new window, or they can right-click and open the result in a new tab. To close a tab, right-click the tab and hit Close. IRIS has an intuitive and easy-to-use filtering system. If the user wishes to filter a result, simply check the box for Use Filter at the bottom of the Results window, and the options provided are for Instrument, Sample Type, Product, or Date and Time Range. As you can see, 
we're displaying 797 results. These are all results for all instruments on our network for the instrument type PMD-110. If the user wishes to select a specific instrument, simply select the instrument field, select the desired instrument, and click refresh list. Now you'll notice we're displaying nine results for this particular instrument of type PMD-110. Now let's take a look at filtering by sample type. As stated, IRIS has the ability to view all results for all instruments on the network for a particular type in which Workbench is open. In this case, we've narrowed it down to one instrument. Let's view all results for this particular instrument type over the entire network. By not selecting an instrument in the instrument dropdown and hitting refresh list, we are now back to viewing 797 results. This is all results for all instruments of this type on the network. If we wish to filter these results by a specific sample type, simply use the provided drop-down box by selecting the sample type or type in that sample type. You'll notice that IRIS recognizes the characters we've typed and eliminates any data that does not match our criteria. By hitting refresh list, you'll notice that we're only viewing results of that sample type. Any of these filter controls can be used in conjunction with one another to locate a result set or single result. Once the user has found the desired result, they can double click it to open it in our results window, right click it to print directly to a network printer or a local printer, view a report, or send to the LEM system. Let's take a look at viewing a report. As stated, Right-clicking a result will open up our options for printing a result, sending to the LIM system, or viewing a report. If the user selects View Report, you'll notice IRIS generates a PDF document with all of our result data broken apart into sections. You'll also notice the Adobe Acrobat toolbar up top, which gives the ability to print, save a copy, share with a friend, and zoom in or zoom out at will. IRIS can be set to generate these reports at the end of every test and print them on a network or local printer or save a copy of this PDF on the network drive or local drive of the user's choice. One of the unique features in IRIS is its ability to quickly and easily generate QC charts. By clicking on the QC History tab, you'll notice the results filter similar to that which we used in the Results tab. This allows the user to define what instrument, sample type, product, or date range they wish to plot results. You'll also notice a box for QC specification. The QC specification defines an upper and a lower limit as well as a target for the data point specific to this instrument type. In this case IBP, FBP, and 50 percent. Once we've entered in this data we can filter our results by a specific type or instrument. In this case we'll use type refresh the list, select our QC specification, and show our QC. You'll notice when our graph is plotted, we have three sections. The first section is going to be our statistical data. This is our numeric values for target, lower limit, and upper limit for the given base name. We also include sigma values and our statistics for statistical mean for this point, our total data points and any outliers. The next two sections of our QC are the graph and the table. These two components are linked. If the user selects a specific point plotted on the graph, the table value for that run will automatically highlight in the table below. The table will include all relevant information for this particular run, including the instrument on which it was run, the date and time the sample was run, and all three specification points associated with this QC. If a point is found to be erroneous, the user may select to disregard that point for the purposes of this QC chart by simply unchecking the box on the far left hand side of the table. You'll notice the chart will automatically adjust according to its highest and lowest point on the Y axis. The graph will also allow the user to zoom into a particular cluster of results by selecting the zoom box and dragging across the graph. The user can select to view information for any point 
in the specification by simply using the base name drop down box and selecting the point in the specification they wish to view. Once again, if the user selects a point on the graph, it will then highlight in the table below and allow for erroneous results to be disregarded. Once the user is satisfied with the QC chart, they can use the Save button to export the chart in two parts, the graph and the table value as an Excel document. Now that we've covered all common components of the lab user's interface, or the workbench, we can take a look at the functions of the online manager. You can access the online manager through the online manager tab in the workbench or by exiting out to the desktop and using the hyperlink provided there. This will require authentication. Once the credentials have been provided, you can access the system administrative and reporting functions of the online manager. The system can be set up to allow multiple users access to all or separate instruments with any number of privileges for each. This adds a level of security unique to IRIS and will only allow actions granted to that user. You will also note all database functions are available through the Systems tab in Online Manager. When selecting Database, you have the option to back up or restore a database or archive old results. As with any system, good database practices will maintain system efficiency and integrity. When viewing a result from the workbench, we are only allowed to view one result per report. In the Online Manager, we're allowed to view multiple results per report. By selecting Run Reports and selecting the workbench, we can choose our desired instrument. By using the provided filters, we can select our criteria by which we choose our report. Once our filter criteria has been provided, we can choose to export our report in a PDF format, Excel, document, Word document, rich text file, or print directly to a printer. This concludes our demonstration video for the basic layout and features of IRIS. We'll be releasing additional videos to cover specific modules and or advanced features. If you have any questions, feel free to contact PAC Sales at PACLP.com.